rabbits are actually the third most common pet in the UK. There's more than estimated to be more than one and a half million of them kept as pets at the moment, but very little is known actually about rabbits in general. We don't really know where these pets that are sold in the pet shops come from. We don't know what drives the certain types that are being bred. Um, we don't know what affects people's choices when they're buying a rabbit and when they choose what breeds to buy. And unfortunately, as with many other breeds of cats and dogs, there is a trend towards rabbits being bred for rather extreme facial conformations. Uh, so this can include the extremely lop-eared rabbits, whereas in the wild, of course, the wild type rabbit has very prominent ears so that it can hear, and it can spot its prey, and our domestic species tend to have what we call a lop ear, where the ears are floppy. However, more modern, uh, a more modern trend is towards rabbits having flat faces, which is something we call a brachycephalic face. Rabbits are fibervores, which means that the main thing that they need in their diet is fibre. They usually will get this from grass. When they're kept as pets, they get it from hay. And they've developed teeth that can grind down all this strong fibre, hay and grass. They grow continuously and they, they grind the hay. And when we shrink their faces, their teeth shrink and their jaws shrink. But because it's happened so quickly through artificial selection and breeding, often it means that their teeth grow in the wrong way. They might grow up into their skulls, cause them problems with their eyes, cause them pain. And eventually some rabbits can end up having to be put down because of problems with their teeth. In the survey, we've selected 25 images of rabbits to try and show the entire range of rabbit facial types, from the pointy ear to the floppy ear to the fluffy to the flat face and the long face. Um, what we want to know is which specific types of face do people find most appealing and why? What is it about rabbits that we like or we hate? Some people don't like them. And, uh, we, we don't really know what it is that drives the breeds that people choose. It could be cultural, it could be based upon your past experience of having rabbits of a certain type. We're really not sure, so we're just interested really in what it is about the rabbit's face and the features of their face that people find appealing or not.